Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Wednesday night. Real quick, I want to remind everybody, I will be on a live that is going to be this coming Friday, this coming Friday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be joining Prepping by Faith uh, and also Preparedness Now will be there as well. So again, that's on Prepping by Faith's channel. Uh, I'll be joining her live and that's, again, that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, this coming Friday evening. We're going to be talking about the United States, the direction it's going, and if there's anything we can do about it. This should be a really good discussion. Hope you can make it. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple of different things real quick, though. Also, I was watching this, looking at some things a while ago around in the news and stuff that's going on. Of course, there's always a lot going on, of course, but I ran across this. A video they talked about uh, Odessa Odessa Texas has been without water has been without running water for about 48 hours and this has slipped by me but uh, I mean that's a that, I'm, granted it's not a huge town um, I'm not even sure if it's 200,000 people or not but Odessa Texas I've heard of it but they have no running water and it's been at least 48 hours now, and it looks like it could be another 12 to 24 hours. Uh, it was very unclear. The articles I read were very cloudy, very unclear about the cause of it. Something about a main break, but, you know, that's a long time uh, for there being no repairs, you know. But something else is going on, possibly. But, uh, but it just makes you wonder. I mean, a week ago, you know, they had water, and it was working fine. They're, furthest thing from their mind, probably, most of them. But, you know, are you prepared? And I think a lot of people don't think about water. You should really consider water in your preps. Now, a lot of us as preppers, we do. We understand that we need to be preparing water really above everything, water and the food and everything. So um, can you go uh, without water for a week? I mean, I think that's something we should you know, just a week to start with, that's a good start. I mean, we should have more than that, of course, but um, can you make it through something like this, like a, um, like a temporary outage, you know, without having to wonder where, where you're gonna get it? I mean, I'm sure the stores probably ran out pretty quick, you know, of their bottled water. Probably can't find it, probably have to go out of town to grab it, but, um, but think about that. Just make sure, check your stock of water, all right? Also, I watched a, a video of, uh, it was like an interview basically, with a truck driver. This was a, a small trucking company. He owns three trucks and he was talking about how the diesel, and we've talked about it off and on, uh, but uh, the diesel prices, um, the impact is having on the, the smaller trucking companies and it's driving a lot of them under. A lot of them are just parking their trucks now so because they can't make a profit because of these high fuel prices. And this guy, uh, he said, this was today, the interview was today, and he was talking about how it was affecting his company. Now again, he has three trucks. He said it's costing him over $20,000 a week to fill up three of his trucks. That's incredible, that's a lot of money. I mean, just on fuel. And that's not even all the other stuff he's got to pay for. Um, so he said it is becoming extremely difficult for him to make a profit. And so right now, the national average for diesel is $5.78 a gallon. That's the national average. He said if it starts to get up, if it gets up into the mid sixes, he's going to have to park. And, you know, and, the, and then the interviewer said, well, what, what does this mean for everybody? And he, in his opinion, he was like, I think we could see empty shelves. You're going to see empty shelves if this continues, if this diesel continues going up. Now. Um, so that was coming straight from um, a, a, a truck company owner. So I know some of you out there um, that view or also drive. And uh, so please weigh in, you know, what you think about it. I know um, you probably have a good firsthand um, insight into that. So. All right, Federal Reserve raised the rate uh, 0.75 percentage points. So I talked with a, uh, an old friend of mine 
uh, earlier this evening about this and just kind of uh, got his his take on this and what it means for us or you know what what will this do you know because I'm not an expert in this okay but um, he he gave me um, his thoughts on this and uh, <clears throat> he he has good insight but um, this is the largest increase um, since 1994. And it's definitely going to make an impact, okay? Um, this isn't an effort to stem this runaway inflation that we're just, that is ripping the faces off people, okay? Um, it's going to stoke recession fears even more. And I, we could, seems like we're really practically in a recession already, but uh, a lot of people think this will go ahead and send us into a recession. Uh, now, it could bring some relief <clears throat> from some of the surging prices, depending on what it is now. Um, food and gas, mm, I don't know. You know, that's that's up in the air. I don't think that's going to impact that much. Um, the cost of borrowing borrowing money will escalate. So basically, um, it will, you know, paying for anything financial, you know, it will, will, um, uh, will, will increase uh, as a result of this. So it'll make all forms of financial activity more expensive okay so um it's important that we do all we can to pay down uh, especially if you have credit cards that have high interest rates um, if you have uh, an adjustable rate mortgage for your home uh, try to switch to a fixed rate um like i said the cost of borrowing borrowing will escalate not only for individuals but for companies thus so um we could see, we will see more unemployment as a result. And, uh, you know, businesses have loans like credit, same as us. So their borrowing costs are going to go up now. Uh, so what they're trying to do is destroy, what they're going to do is destroy demand since they can't do anything about the supply side of things. All right. Um, so you could have higher unemployment. Uh, the poor is really going to slap them really bad. Uh, the poor uh, or, or, or even middle class are going to be more poor and the poor are going to be, you know, further down. Um, I believe we could see um, more evictions, uh, foreclosures as well, but especially evictions are going to definitely increase uh, repossessions of automobiles. Um, like I said, recession, if it, things get really bad, it could go very well could go into a depression, all right? Um, prices on food and gas was my main question. Uh, I believe, and, and what from what my friend said, food and gas, gas is gonna stay up, especially through the summer, of course. It may come down a little bit after the summer is what he thinks. Um, I, I tend to believe that, I tend to agree with that. Food, why, especially in gas, I mean, why come down on the price? We've been paying this. You know, we, you know, people have been paying it and ride driving, you know, for the most part, like they always do. So they're not going to come down on the price. They don't have to, especially even with food, you know, you know, it, why lower the prices? It, once they're up there, they may level out a little bit, but I don't think they're going to come down. I really don't. Now, maybe in some things, I don't know, but, um, also, as far as you want to buy a car, buy a new car, a new truck, um, advisable to wait about a year to a year and a half right now. You still have a chip shortage that's affecting uh, this big time. So, and I believe autom new automobiles and trucks are going to stay high um, it, as long as you have this chip shortage still looming. Um, it's it's really uh, you still have very low inventory. I mean, go try to buy a truck right now or even some cars. Now, some cars, depending on what it is, uh, you may have it on the lot and be able to buy it. Um, it's still, and, and because of that, it's going to keep used cars high. Now, go into a big time recession or depression, heaven forbid. Now, that'll change it all. You know, um, then uh, that'll just turn it upside down. Um, you know, you could buy one cheaper then, of course, the prices will fall. So, but what, it'll be interesting to see. I I don't think it's happening anytime soon as far as, as cars and even homes. Now, 
I did read where in some markets, homes are, are falling, the prices are falling. Now, I know in Georgia, that ain't the case, especially anywhere uh, within 50 miles of Atlanta or even further. It doesn't matter. All of Georgia is still a hot, hot uh, real estate market and rents crazy, still high. I think that will just remain, I believe. I think that'll keep on. Some parts of the country, like I said, looks like it's coming down some, but you know, still crazy high. Um, those, those are my thoughts too on this. Um, now, I believe now might be a good time to, it is a good time to sell stuff that you can get rid of, you know, while people still have some money in their hands. Okay. Um, do that. Uh, like I said, pay down uh, what you can on debt, especially high interest rate stuff. All right, stock, keep stocking food and water. If things were to really get bad, uh, food could be a currency, you know? I mean, really. Um, I know people talk about gold and silver. I'm not saying don't do that, okay? But food and water, food is, is always gonna be needed. We always have to eat, all right? It's never gonna go out of style, right? Uh, carry, can cat, carry some cash on you as well. I'm still hearing uh, where people are going in to pay for things, whether it be a gas station, grocery store, hardware store, and this either they either a sign or they go try to pay for something, and they're, and they're saying that their credit card or debit card uh, service is not working. So cash only. So carry some cash on you just in case you run into that. All right. Uh, those are my thoughts. Share your thoughts. I know you will. Good verse. This is an awesome verse, of course. It is from Psalm, Psalm 73, chapter, uh, chapter 73, verse 26 says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is my, but God, let me start over. All right. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. You know, always, uh, always with us to the very end as well. Uh, just say that one over and over again. Uh, and it's a comfort. So, all right, you guys, be aware out there. Keep stacking. All right. Be safe. God bless you. See you soon.